Anyway, uh, today is week 85, if you can believe that, nice. Chief. And uh, last week we talked about burning the bridges and what we did uh, to get to get on the boat. And this week I want to talk about what's the rewards of getting on the boat. You know what I'm saying? Like what did what yeah. happened after we bought the boat? And, uh, and and how, you know, talk a little bit about that story of how we got here. Okay. So anyway, you know, I don't know if you remember, but in the 2010-11, uh, I woke up one day and I'm, I'm on this blow-up mattress. I had lost everything. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing, you know, it felt like life was a complete failure. Um, I lost my job. Uh, Beverly lost her job. But I remember getting up that day, no more smoking cigarettes from uh, Beverly. And no more chewing tobacco for me. Nice. We didn't have any money. We had zero. I mean, we we lived in this brand new custom built house, and we're sitting there, and we have nothing. Oh, absolutely wow. nothing. Everything's gone. And uh, I just remember uh, waking up thinking, uh, that's the last time that's ever going to happen to me. I'm never going to be like that again. And in a very short amount of time, uh, you know, I was able to. Uh, I called a friend of mine. I borrowed a few thousand dollars. In a very short amount of time, I was able to build up uh, some cash, uh, stack some coin. And I was able to buy a Tesoro. You remember Tesoro? Yeah. Anyway, that was a boat that I had a 34 CHP. This is where it all started. In California. Yeah. yeah. And we lived on that boat for, we actually got a liveaboard permit and everything down there in California. It's pretty amazing how, how all that story uh, transpired. If anybody wants to hear that story, ask me about it and I'll tell you about it. Uh, maybe in a, a video some other time. I do have a lot of pictures from that, from when we lived on that boat down there. Yeah. But it was like the start of it, I, you know, because I dreamed about all this as a, as a boy a boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, it really wasn't about sailboats. It was about trawlers and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but he's owned a couple sailboats too. Yeah, I have. Cause I think we all have that uh, dream of, you know, we figure out that the trawler is very expensive and then we have that dream of sailing around the world. So we buy the sailboat and then next thing you know, I figured uh, Beverly didn't like sailing. So that's why we switched to the trawlers very, very quickly yeah. and uh, figured that out. Um, anyway, so we lived down there, uh, I, but the thing that the, the thing that I was missing on that particular experience um, was I didn't have any money. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I had the money to pay for Tesoro and cash, and then I had I, I think I, I had like ten thousand dollars after I paid for Tesoro, and I was like uh, I was running out of money and I had to get a job. And I'm thinking, and before that money ran out, you know, I probably down to six, seven thousand dollars, something like that. And I said, I'm like I said, I'm never going to be broke again. And I said, uh, and I went to look for a job down there in LA and I'm going, what? they went up to pay me like 20 bucks. And I go, what the hell am I going to do with $20 an hour in a, in a city like this, that everything is so expensive. You know, yeah. it was like a joke to me. So then, uh, the company that I worked for for 10 years called me and said, Hey, uh, if you want a position here, I ended up there. I thought I was only going to be there for six months, ended up being there for 10 years. Yeah. So I ended up selling to Sorrow, pay cash for an RV. We lived in that for probably five years. Everything's paid for, the property's paid for, the trailer's paid for, the RV's paid for. And we were able to stack some money and, and, and save. And, you know, I even made some poor choices, bad investments. You know, I failed at, you know, just about all of that stuff. And, uh, but I, I the, the, the few that I got right were big, you know what I'm saying? Like I got some really, really nice, nice, nice ones. And, uh, you know, the, the stuff that I did succeed in, I was, it was very fortunate and I was able to, uh, really, uh, pay attention and, and I made a little bit of money off of that. So then we were able to, uh, um, well, we actually bought a house there in St. George. And then next thing I know, uh, COVID happens, lost my job. And here I am, uh, you know, looking for a boat and I bought Loop Princess. Yep. And then I remember I'm going to go uh, do America's Great Loop. Um, and then during the loop, yeah. <laughs> I called him up one day and I says, hey, I think this is the boat you were looking at that you or that you really wanted that you couldn't afford. Yeah, I think you were asking 129000 and then it, that was at $89,000 and I almost I half called the guy. Is, yeah. You remember what that guy's name was? Amy. Amy, yeah. Yeah, I almost called Amy and said, hey, uh, what would you... But the boat was wrapped up and it was it was in dry storage nightmare. yeah it was a nightmare where the boat was at and the whole thing was just a nightmare and i said i don't even want to deal with it until what happened chief he put it on a uh, facebook marketplace for twenty five thousand dollars and, and I, I, I called paul and i says i think this is the boat you were looking at <laughs> and i'd already done all my homework everything on it yes. and i said chief whatever you do right now we've got to be very careful what we do here but just pay the guy 
Yeah. Uh, and I didn't even have the cat because all my cash was tied, tied up, up in loop princess. princess. So I said, Pete, you got to uh, you got to go pay for that boat, and you get to go fix it, <laughs> and you get to go. It was a lot. It was very. I was fun though, but yeah, it was a little stressful there for a little while. But that was the time in your life you needed it too. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, no, it worked out good. And then, uh, so then uh, Pete joins us on the loop, and then uh, I remember we get the boat ready, yeah. you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I remember pulling into New York Harbor. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, Here's yeah. the pictures right here. Yeah. I got a picture of each of us as we're, yeah. I was very, very emotional. Yeah. Here it is. A lifelong dream. Not, not even the loop. I didn't even know what the loop was, but yeah. it was just, we, here we are on the loop, yeah. and uh, we're in uh, our own 50-foot trawler, and we're making this happen, and 10 years earlier, uh, you know, I'm dead broke, and here I am uh, go, coupling into New York Harbor. It was just really, really yeah. emotional for me, yeah. and, you know, I just felt the cool. connection. Yeah. yeah. We had whales breaching in the background that yeah. day. Yeah. It was just an amazing, amazing day on the water, yeah. uh, and it made it all worth it right there. Yeah. I was a miser, so I was pinching pennies. We didn't stay at Liberty Landing; we stayed at some mooring field. Yeah. And uh, but we went on to you know up the uh, Hudson uh, yeah. through the Erie Canal. Uh, Canada was closed at the time. Yeah. And then uh, we went and did Lake Erie, Lake yeah. Huron, Lake Michigan. All the way down to Chicago. I think one of the biggest mistakes we made, because me and Pete have both run it both ways now. Yeah. We've run uh, the downtown Chicago and uh, the, the, around the, the canal system. system. And I prefer, I would prefer the downtown. We should. Yeah. That's one of the mistakes we made, as we should have done well, on our original loop. We yeah. we skip downtown Chicago, which never do that. Always go through downtown Chicago. It's if you can get your boat low enough, yeah, you got to go. It's absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And anyway, so then. Uh, we did the river system. We get back home. Uh, Pete actually takes off, and you go hang out with my son for about a year or so. Yep. Uh, me and Bev, I uh, live on the boat for another year down there in Gulf Shores. And yep. then uh, Pete, Pete, uh, me and Beverly ended up getting divorced. Yeah. And then uh, Pete joins me. Uh, and then uh, in this whole time period, though, you know, like, uh, you've got to love this. Like, I... I feel like I'm Aquaman to an extent, you know, I feel like I get sick when I go on, if I'm on land too long anymore. It's like, uh, um, if I'm walking around on land and I'm not on the water, uh, because this boat is constantly rocking and rolling. And, uh, so even, you know, the wind, even right now, it's, I can see it rocking from the other boat right there in back of us. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, you get sick, uh, now when I go on land. So for me, you know, it's it's a childhood dream. Uh, I, I don't regret. It. I feel like I'm on this merry-go-round, and the, and, I, and as soon as this merry-go-round stops, I, I'm gonna get off. But I'm not ready to get off yet. Yeah. But I'm I'm close. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I really like to do is meet Aqua Woman and go maybe up to the Nova Scotia Passage and then do the Thousand Lakes. Nice. Uh, something like that, because uh, Pete's got a. He's on call for another uh, opportunity in life that comes up, and I don't know. He could be here six months. He could be here another year. Yep. He could be here two months. Who knows? We yeah. don't know right now yeah. what's what, exactly what's going on there. Yeah. But anyway, so then uh, in 2023, we get the boat ready. And January 15th, I don't know if you remember that exact date, but then we left. I don't remember the exact date, but yeah. Yeah, we left. It was January 15th. We yeah. took some YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Great people. <laughs> yeah. Rolanda and Eve. Yeah. And we, just, we just had a great time yeah. with them. Took them across. Uh, we learned a couple lessons about YouTube subscribers and what we can and get, can't get away with. Yeah. We try not to take you guys out in open water uh, anymore because yeah. we learned our lesson yeah. there. If, you, you, if, you're not, if you're not an open water runner, I mean, if you don't have the time in on it, it it's it does it, you will get nervous or you just yeah you got to get used to so, it yeah you really do because i'm an open water guy i prefer the open i'm water. open water guy now too uh before it because it's much different uh being in, in canals uh, than it is out in the open water and yeah. i just like it i, I don't know what it is set the autopilot music's on yeah and you're just enjoying uh you know the yeah. ride for what it is yeah and i prefer open water too but a lot of people like the canal systems it is because there's no you don't have to deal with uh the ups and downs and all that stuff yeah. but it doesn't really matter we're out here uh, we get the boat over here to the Keys. We enjoy the Keys for uh, for about a month. Yeah. Getting the boat ready to prep to go to the key, uh, over to the Bahamas, Bahamas. for a month. Uh, had the greatest time. Remember the pigs? Yeah, the pigs. Uh, we went into we went in at West End, and then we went uh, did the entire loop, fifteen hundred miles, all the way around. Yeah. 
I don't think it was quite 1,500 miles. Was it? Know. I thought it was. I think I thought it was 25 from end to end, and we did like 50. Maybe we didn't. No, I think it was a thousand miles. Oh, a thousand miles. Mile loop because we went all from we went in at West End all the way around, then came back through uh, uh, Nassau yeah. and then uh, well, back over to Bimney and yeah. then over to Miami. Yeah. But we made the whole entire loop. Yeah. And it was. I, I don't regret any of it. Now, will I go back to the Bahamas? Uh, yeah, maybe someday. If I met the right person or something happened or, you know, maybe it's a charter or maybe I take somebody in their own, their own private boat or we might take this boat back there someday. I'm not going to ever rule that out. Yeah. But um, it is really remote out there. It I'm is. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe that's what we'll talk about next week. We'll talk about that whole trip again because we'll talk about the remoteness and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was an absolute blessing. We're glad that we did it. Uh, and it, we, we prepped really well. We had no problems. We over prepped. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we were eating uh, groceries for six months after we got back from the bars. We still had all our same gas. <laughs> Gasoline. Gasoline. The diesel, we were down. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we came were... in empty on diesel, but gasoline, never touched it because we didn't need it. Yeah, we had the solar panels, and with the engines running, uh, all that stuff, we really didn't you have didn't to. really use too much. No, we didn't. It was, it was a, uh... anyway, we had, a, we had a great time in the Bahamas, and for you guys that are, have that dream of doing stuff like that, it's worth it, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, even the Keys here, I think the Florida Keys are some of the prettiest uh, cruising grounds that uh, I think it's prettier here in the Keys in a, in a way than it is the Bahamas. Yeah. And you got the security of the United States because you got the Coast Guard. Yeah. And you got always got support. When you get the Bahamas, there's no support. The only thing you got is a support bra and whatever underwear you brought. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing out there. Yeah, it is uh, it is pretty remote out there. And, it, and we stayed in a lot of the remote places, too. We didn't, yeah, we didn't We didn't party in, in NASA and all that stuff. We we were in the remote. We room. didn't stay, stay with the city folk. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were out in the, in the remoteness and the wilderness uh, side of it all. And yeah. I, we had a great time, though. I mean, we, like yeah. you said, we went into the pigs, uh, where the pigs were. Yeah. And uh, But for you guys that get it, uh, for you guys that burned your bridges... And for you guys that want to take a boat over to the Bahamas, you know, nobody can take that dream. And once you have it and you want to complete it, you're going to do it. Yeah. And uh, we can't, I can't stop you. And, uh, you know, I, I, God bless you. And I wish you guys the best, you know, and, uh, you know, we're here to help you any way that we can, whether it's help you find that boat uh, or it's help you deliver that boat to you, help train you on that boat. Whatever we can do, I mean, yeah. we're here to help you. Uh, we've done it. We've, 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 we have the experience. If it's just a phone call, just somebody to talk to, yeah. we've done it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and without that experience, without, without us having the experience, we wouldn't be able to be here to help you guys. So that's, that's yeah. one of the big reasons we're here now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've, I've told you guys this before. I'm getting ready to quit my job at Little Palm. I've got a bunch of deliveries lined up now. I've got, um, the 34 Beneteau I leave Saturday on. Yeah. So if you're watching this video, this is the Wednesday video. I'm about halfway through the, the trip on the Beneteau. That's going from Fort Lauderdale over to uh, Pensacola. Nice. And then I actually got another, picked up another Beneteau 34. Yeah. That one's going from Rhode Island uh, down here to, to the Keys. Uh, Keys yep. yep. And then uh, we have uh, a 4788 Bayliner. It's up in Michigan. That's going to come from, I believe, Chicago. We'll bring that down the river system, probably over to the Denopolis, somewhere around there. Oh, know. nice. Okay. I've done that run. Yeah. yeah. You've been on. You've been to Denopolis before. That's yeah. where I broke my finger, if you remember. Yeah. And that air conditioner we tried to mess with. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, peace out. I want you guys uh, to make sure we uh, get starting to get a little traction on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that bell for notifications. Uh, share it with your friends. We do appreciate it so much. We can't do this without you guys. Patreons, we love you guys. Uh, appreciate it so much. Thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts. Anyway, anybody needs anything, just give us a call, email, uh, whatever you need to do, and peace out, and we'll see you guys see on you guys. week 85, I think it's going to be, Chief. Yeah, crazy. All right, thank you, guys. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.